new 2017 Renault Alpine A120, save the date teaser confirms Geneva debut. Alpine will return in 2017 with a new mid-engine sports car using a lightweight aluminium platform and underbody aerodynamics. Alpine Renault's reborn sports car sub-brand is readying a new sports car for a reveal at the next month's Geneva Motor Show, and the mark has just dropped a Save the Date teaser on its website. According to that image, the car will be officially revealed at 13.15 set on March 7. Rumored to be called A120 following on from the iconic A110 the latest pictures confirm nothing new, but Alpine says it's the last trip before the new model is unveiled. It's another official look at the car in full, confirming the overall shape of the vehicle will be almost identical to the Alpine Vision concept from 2016. Alpine has been building hype for its return with a series of teaser images over the last few weeks, the latest teaser revealing the lightweight sports seat set to grace the cockpit. Each one-piece bucket weighs 13.1 kilograms, with lateral supports trimmed in quilted leather. We also know that the Porsche 718 Cayman rival will get a flat floor and rear diffuser. Flat floors allow air to pass underneath the car cleanly, while the diffuser at the rear does the same, ensuring airflow is stable as it passes out of the rear. The fast-moving, smooth air underneath the car also helps to create downforce without drag, hence why the new Alpine won't feature a large rear wing, cluttering up the car's smooth shape. Looking at the car in full and at our spy shots, the final production car will be extremely similar in looks to the initial Alpine Vision concept from 2016. The wing mirrors will change, but other standout design flicks such as the round fog lamps embedded in the nose in homage to the Alpine A110 and the large central exhaust exit are bound for production. It's good news for those taken in by the concept's looks. Alpine has also revealed that it will get a lightweight aluminium chassis in tandem with aluminium bodywork, revealing the new aluminium platform and parts with a couple of teaser images taken inside Renault's Dieppe plant the firm's historic site where original Alpine models were made. Order books are already open, with 1,955 so-called premier edition models available for reservation via a special app. Our previous looks at the car strongly suggest the overall shape of the production car won't stray far from the initial Alpine Vision concept from early 2016. A 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 4.5 seconds has been confirmed, and in France the premier edition cars will sell for between 55,000 to 60,000 euros, so a UK price tag of around 50,000 pounds seems very likely. Full details will arrive later in 2017. The limited run of 1,955 Premier cars is a reference to 1955 the year Alpine's first incarnation was founded. Every car in this early run will receive a plaque fixed to the center console with its production number, and after a 2,000 euros, 1,700 pounds, deposit customers will be able to choose their preferred car, should it remain. Three paint finishes have been confirmed, blue alpine, blue, noir profound, black, or blanc solitaire, white, and reservations will be limited to select European countries and Japan. Deliveries will take place in late 2017, but Japan and the UK both right-hand drive markets will be waiting until 2018 when further markets will also be confirmed. For many, the Alpine name conjures up images of the iconic A110, and at the 2016 Goodwood Festival of Speed Renault CEO Carlos Gosen told us, I'm bringing Alpine back. We see Alpine as a strategic move for the Renault group. According to Gosen, the production version of the Vision concept is an opportunity to leverage our performance and expertise on track in a modern, reinvented lightweight sports car. It'll be a lightweight car with a mid-engine layout. Alpine design director Anthony Villan said the Vision concept ticks all the boxes expected of a modern, exclusive Alpine sports car. It blends a fiery spirit, inspired by motorsport success, with Alpine's legendary expertise, 
plus a French flavor found in every detail. Alpine Vision Concept Design Details The Vision Concept gets a low, sleek profile, similar to last year's L.E. Man's debut. The sculpted sides mold into pronounced rear haunches, which narrow to give the illusion of an elongated tail, but the twin exhausts previously seen have become a single pipe in the center of the rear bumper apparently because one is lighter than two. However, the big interest is inside the Alpine's futuristic cockpit. The designers have used a complex array of leather, fabric, aluminium, and carbon fiber to give the car a modern yet retro feel. The doors get black leather trim with contrasting white stitching, while the quilted bucket seats are accompanied by race-inspired harness seat belts. Ahead of the driver, there's an instrument panel comprising a customizable TFT display, flanked by sporty carbon fiber. The steering wheel is trimmed in thick black leather, framed by the automatic gearbox's shift paddles. The buttons and air vents are backlit in Alpine blue. We'll see Alpine progress steadily over the next few years, with three distinct pillars to the brand's development. Alpine Managing Director Michael van der Sandy said the company's first priority is building an outstanding car before continuing to build the integral team and dealer network enthusiast to enthusiast. Finally we will go racing, he said. A family of Alpine sports cars is expected over the next few years. Gosen wouldn't elaborate on what these might be, but insisted lightweight would not be an exception. 300 BHP Alpine Renault Sport model could follow. It appears the brand could make an even hotter R's version of the near production model and our exclusive image shows how it could look. According to our French sister magazine Auto Plus, the standard Alpine sports car, mooted for release next year, will feature an all-new 1.8-liter turbo petrol engine with around 250 bhp. But later on, a racier model, tuned by Renault Sport, could bump that figure up past 300 bhp. While that might not sound like much, Renault promises the focus will be on low weight to worry the likes of Lotus. The extra power will be made possible by tweaks to the ECU and cooling system, with larger air intakes at the front and in the doors. Other exterior changes will reportedly include swollen rear wheel arches to allow wider tires to be fitted, boosting grip and stability. Racier alloy wheel designs will also debut, and the front end gets cross-hatched LED lights to distinguish it from the regular car. Speaking to Auto Express at the 2015 Geneva Motor Show, Renault Vice President Bruno Anselin told us the advent of the first model will spawn further Alpine efforts. We are working on the first car, and out of that we are working on the lineup, he said. So model number one, which we call the AS1 Alpine Sport 1 we need to see further. Then we'll look to the complementary models we will have in the lineup. We expect the Renault Sport version of the Alpine to emerge later in 2017, after the standard Alpine goes on sale. The Renault Sport model is likely to cost at least £55,000 with the regular sports car around the £50,000 mark.